I used Ubuntu for 30 days. Here's my experience. Also, join the Penguin by Discord community to be notified of announcements and uploads, ask questions, participate in polls and decisions, and chat with me and the community about Linux, tech, and other topics. Link in the description below. As an intermediate, long-time Linux user who has used and played around with Linux for about 7 years, I started using Linux exclusively about 3-4 to four years ago with Ubuntu, but I haven't used Ubuntu in a long time, so now that I've tried it again, I must say right off the bat it has improved tremendously and of course, as always, has a great out-of-the-box experience with pre-installed codecs which makes the experience much more convenient, probably the widest range of software support out of any distro, great hardware compatibility, an easy and performant gaming experience, and Ubuntu makes proprietary software easy to install if you ever need it, instead of having to jump through hoops like with some other distros. Also, Ubuntu's Subiquity installer was quick, easy to use, and beautiful. Let's first discuss the overall user interface. Ubuntu uses the GNOME desktop, customized to add the panel on the left, which is nice, adds notification badges, which are also nice, and adds desktop icons and the system tray, which are both just... Why, Ubuntu? Why? And also these useless minimize and maximize buttons that take up more space. The reason I call these useless is because Ubuntu uses GNOME, and in GNOME, you don't have minimize and maximize buttons. Instead, you drag the window to the top to maximize the window, and instead of minimizing, just drag the window to another workspace and then grab it later when you need it. Also, I'm not a big fan of the Yaru theme and icon set, but it's not terrible. Overall, other than a few things, Ubuntu's customizations look decent and I love GNOME, so Ubuntu has a decent UI in my opinion. On the topic of window management, you can tile windows to the sides, uh, the top if you drag and hold, the bottom, the corners, and you can also maximize if you quickly drag it to the top. But, uh, this tiling also has a few issues. For example, if I just click the top bar over here, GNOME's top bar, it will for whatever reason unmaximize the window and try, uh, you know, tiling it to the top. And the thing is, if I just like minimize this window and open something else, this selected tiling area just gets in the way, usually, of other apps as well, until you like move a window. And so that is a bit annoying. I also installed the Blur My Shell extension, which made Ubuntu even more beautiful than it already was, but that would cause some issues that we'll get to later. The first thing I did in Ubuntu was copy my files from my backup USB drive onto my system. Then I installed the programs I needed. Also, I decided to use snaps as much as possible over flat packs or traditional packages as they are part of the Ubuntu experience and I've never gotten a good chance to properly use them. And I must say, other than a few bugs which I'll get into later, snaps have been really solid and have grown on me a lot. I would say from my experience, they're pretty much on par with flat packs. I actually did a comparison between snaps and flat packs, so if you want to see that video, I'll put the link in the description and top right corner. I also installed Flatpak and Flathub for programs that snaps didn't have, and also just in case, but I was shocked by how many apps were available on the snap store. I first updated the system, and then I installed Discord, OBS, Caden Live, Super Tuxcart, VS Code, Firefox which was already installed, Brave as a secondary browser, Warp, Fractal, Parabolic, Super Tux, and Revolt. I also replaced Rhythmbox with Amberall, and removed Shotwell as the newer Totem was already installed. Speaking of Totem or GNOME videos, it works perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but it works. When I tried opening a video shot on an iPhone, I did get a codec error like usual, but after closing it and pressing the play button a few times, I was able to successfully play the video without any major lag or issues, unlike on other distros. Also, the lag that you see is because of the screencast, not Totem's playback. 
Now let's talk about issues I've had with snaps. The OBS snap, which was unofficial to be fair, was very buggy and had weird theming issues, so I had to use the flat pack instead. The Caden Live snap had these same weird theming issues and was an old version, so I also had to use the Caden Live flat pack, and on rare occasions, the Ubuntu App Center has weird graphical issues. The Krita Snap also had these theming issues and had some dev build warning on the stable branch and then crashed every time I tried to use it. And the Dark Table Snap had some weird issue not detecting the right home folder. Instead, it detected some folder in its snap folder that it thought was the home folder. Other than that though, snaps have basically been a perfect experience for me. Oh snap, I forgot one more, the Discord Snap. Discord usually works really well other than Discord's own bugs, but there has been some really funny errors with the snap. Like when I'm on a call with someone in full screen launching a new activity, and this happens. Also, I've had a few cases which are rare, but they've happened like two or three times, of Discord just completely disappearing from Ubuntu. Just completely gone. And then I opened the App Center searching for Discord just to find a full progress bar doing nothing, with no text next to it. Then I reboot, and Discord is there, but it doesn't launch. Bruh, are you kidding me? Why? What could have possibly happened to Discord? Okay, I'm not sure what happened here, but I cannot find the Discord app anywhere. I did not remember uninstalling it or anything like that, so... Not sure why it's not appearing, but... That's weird. Okay, I rebooted my system, and uh, the Discord app is back. It's just magically back again, and the system was acting a little bit weird before, it's acting fine now, so not sure what caused that problem, but yeah. Also, wait a second, the corners of the bar are around for some reason, but anyways, at least the Discord app is there. Okay, so about the rounded corners on the dock, as you know, I installed Blur My Shell recently. A beautiful GNOME extension, but I guess it didn't render properly on Ubuntu. But when I disable it, the dock is fine again, so I'll just leave it disabled for now, I guess. Moving on to other issues, the Zoho Mail dev package and app image would both refuse to launch completely after multiple attempts, even though I installed libfuse2 for the app image. Okay, so Ubuntu works normally for the most part. It works pretty well, actually. But one issue that it does have is startup time. It takes a really long time to start up, so that can be a bit annoying. Not really annoying, it's just uh, is what it is, as you can see. And now we've reached the login screen, finally. Now, about every other distro I've tried, Fedora, Arch, uh, from my experience, boot faster than Ubuntu does, but that's fine. But yeah. Also, Ubuntu on Wayland can be a bit buggy sometimes. Uh, I mean, it usually works fine, but like compared to Fedora or Arch, it can be buggier. So Ubuntu with X11 is the better option for now. Okay, and now we've logged in, which was pretty quick, not the quickest, but not terrible. As you can see, I have my beautiful penguin wallpaper here. And now we're going to try launching Discord, which is, it's not fast, but it's not really horribly slow, it just takes a second. And Discord is launching.
and there it is. We are now in. So, again, Ubuntu in general is not the fastest disk drive I've tried, but it's not terrible. There's a bit of lag there, but usually that's fine. So, uh, yeah. Also, once in a while, an error message will pop up out of nowhere, which is funny, but weird. Ubuntu has actually been a really great and smooth experience. It's actually one of the best out-of-the-box experiences I've ever tried, but it's not without its bugs and quirks. I think it's a great distro, but it doesn't beat Fedora for me, nor does any other distro that I've tried so far. I also think Snap is a really great packaging format, and I plan to use it on other distros. I've said on multiple occasions that Ubuntu is one of the best distros for beginners, and after this 30-day challenge, I stand on that. Subscribe if you like my content, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.